Hi, welcome to this third video on how to secure servers with Okta. So in the previous videos, we just talked about why this is a good idea. And second, we used the developer free account at Okta plus Okta Advanced Server Access to set up our first server and our first client. But we can do better. So during that first tutorial, first two tutorials, we just had a user log into the server using a password. If you think about it, passwords are like those long keys, right? They can be shared as well. Uh, people may mess up and get those credentials disclosed. And that's not a good idea, especially with servers. So what we're going to do is we're going to prevent that from happening by using multi-factor authentication. So the steps on doing this, and you can follow along, are first to enable MFA at Okta. Second, configure the policy in which factors we will allow. And finally, just test it. So this is going to be a very quick tutorial. So please follow along if you would like to. So OK. So this is my Okta dashboard, the same one you access when you log in your developer plan. And from here, you can head over to security, multi-factor. And you can tell which factors you will accept for users to enroll in and then use later for security. I'm going to enable a couple of those so just you have an idea on how easy it gets to get those things going at Okta. The first one I'm going to use is Fido. So if you have MacBooks or a Windows device with Windows Hello, it's just a matter of hitting this knob here, you get that functionality. The other one I'm going to enable here, it's going to be Okta Verify. And Okta Verify is a push notification system. So what it allows you to do is to pretty much use your cell phone as a way of getting that security. So I'm going to enable push notification here. I could also require a Touch ID. And now that I have both enabled, I will actually use this enrolling name optionally for either one or the other when they are enforced to do MFA. Cool. Once I enable MFA at Okta, I can pick which applications will actually require MFA. So if I had my own custom app, let's say for my customers, I might not want to have MFA there. But for servers that are being accessed via ASA or advanced server access, I do want to have that. So I can enter the application. And under single sign-on, I can add the specific policy to add MFA for who I want. So I'll say everyone here. It could be your developer team. You can set up specific groups. It's really your call. I'm going to prompt for a factor with every authentication and hit Save here. So let me sign out so we can test this out. So OK. So now I'm going to access my Nginx server. That's sending me over to Okta, where I'm entering my credentials. Now, because I have MFA and the options I selected, I'm presented with this. It's the first time I'm accessing, so I can set this up. So I'm going to use uh, Touch ID, which I have in my computer. Okay, hold on. Yes, allow. Okay, I'm in. Gonna hit finish. I could do another factor. Cool. And now I'm approved. So nice. Now when I access servers, I need that uh, key in order to have this access going. So okay, to recap what we did here, we enabled multi-factor authentication, we configured a policy, and we tested that out.